Hey, Daily City, come on down! <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> hey, y'all, Zets here. Welcome to Rack and Reading. Your friends here from the Daily City Department of Library and Recreation Services bring you on an adventure. Join us as some of your favorite librarians and rec and crew bring you virtual story times, projects, activities, crafts, recipes, and other fun things related to our theme. This week's theme is Summer of the Stars. Magic. Are you guys ready for today's show? Where do movie stars go to watch movies on Halloween? They go to Malibu. Boo, boo, get off the stage, your jokes are terrible. What? Me? <laughs> All right, ready, set, action on this adventure. Hi everyone, it's Miss Sarah from the Daily City Public Library. Thank you for joining us this week for Wreck and Reading. So I will be reading Mary Had a Little Glam by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. And this is with permission from Sterling Children's Books. Mary had a little glam. Mary had a little glam that grew into a lot. And everywhere that Mary went, she wasn't hard to spot. Is that a curtain? Meow. But on that day she started school, she caught some by surprise. Sweet Mary shrugged and hugged her mom. I must accessorize. Then Mary click-clacked down the block in frilly formal wear. And by the time she got to school, she'd added extra flair. When Mary took a look around, her heart was filled with woe. The other kids in class with her were glamless, head to toe. So Mary offered fashion tips. More pink, more beads, more shine. A hat for him and trim for her. Go boa, it's divine. Soon, Mary brought out glitz and glam in everyone she met. The students, teachers, principal, and Clark, the classroom pet. Now story time had gowns and crowns and mounds of striped chiffon. The art class came with glitter glue and trips to her salon. Then Mary amped up music class with pomp and circumstance. At checkout time, she was sublime, left not a thing to chance. The morning flew and soon it was the best part of the day. It's recess time, the teacher said, and Mary led the way. But all came to a sudden stop each kid surveyed the scene. We're clearly dressed all wrong for this, boo-hooed the 17. Poor Mary twirled her parasol. This crisis was a 10. She'd never figured out a plan. All was lost. But then she tossed her shades and silk-lined cape, her scarf and strappy shoes, and Mary's friends were just as fast. There was no time to lose. The class raced for the jungle gym, the spiral slide and swings. Then Mary grinned and grabbed a ball, among some other things. <laughs> now Mary's flair for what to wear is better than before. True glamour often calls for lots, but sometimes less is more. <laughs> Hi, Rick and Reading. My name is Cherry, and today we're going to be making a foil microphone inspired by this week's theme, Summer of the Stars. So for your supplies today, you're going to need several sheets of foil, half a sheet of black paper, toilet paper roll, black tape, some sequins, a pair of scissors, a Sharpie, and wet glue. So your first step is to cover the toilet paper roll with the black paper. Your next step is to roll the foil sheet into the shape of a microphone. So after you do that, you're going to put the foil inside the toilet paper roll, you're going to seal it with the black tape, and then use the Sharpie to draw on the mic. Now you're going to decorate it with the sequins and glue. 
And that's how you make your foil microphone. Thanks for watching. All right, so we have our stars today. We have one, two, three, four, right? So it goes four little stars winking at me, one shot off, then there were three. Three little stars with nothing to do, one shot off, and then there were two. Two little stars afraid of the sun, one shot off, then there was one. One little star not having any fun, it shot off, and then there were none. Hi, it's Patricia from Daily City Rec, um, and I'd love to sing a song with you, so let's do it. But your faith, it gives me strength, the strength to believe. And for trying, yeah, we're well, breaking free, oh, breaking free.
and I have a special guest chef today. Brianna. And we're gonna be making kettle corn cupcakes. This week's theme is Summer of the Stars. So let's get on that red carpet and make us some kettle corn cupcakes. Let's make a mess. So in all honesty, this is probably one of the most complicated recipes we have today because we're gonna make a couple different parts. First, we're gonna be making kettle corn. Second, we're gonna be baking cupcakes. Third, we're gonna be filling the cupcakes with some caramel core, and then adding caramel to our kettle corn to make a kettle corn topping. So this is a pretty complicated project. Now, I'm pretty sure that we are gonna nail it, but we might not. So let's set the timer and see how it goes. Okay, so for the cake itself, you need one box of cake mix. I'm using a butter cake. You need to have one small box of instant pudding. If you don't have a small box, you can do six tablespoons and two teaspoons of a large box. You're gonna need about four egg whites. Depending on the size of your egg, you might have to do more. One cup of plain sour cream, one half cup of milk, one cup of melted butter, a teaspoon of extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. For the kettle corn, you'll need a popcorn popper. We're gonna use a whirly pop, one half cup unpopped kernels, one tablespoon tablespoon white sugar, one tablespoon brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt and some oil to pop it in. Then for the caramel drizzle, we're gonna be using the meltaways that you can buy at any grocery store. And for our filling, we're gonna be using a jar of dolce de leche. We're gonna add the cake mix, the jello, and you're gonna add the quarter teaspoon of salt. It's okay. Now, if we were making a meringue and we got some of the orange in there, the orange yolk, we would have to start all over because then it wouldn't it wouldn't whip up. So you're gonna do a half cup of milk. We're gonna do that two times because a two half cups make what? One. One. So two of these equals one of these. Four of these equals one of these. And the last thing is one teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna put these in the oven for 18 to 22 minutes. The oven was preheated to 375. When we put them in, we're gonna lower it to 325. I'm getting you a spoon. I'm getting you a spoon. Helpful hit, take a towel next time you turn it on and you can cover it so it doesn't squirt everywhere, okay? Well, that's too much. Yes, next time slow. Want to squeeze from Ooh. from where the twisty is in the back, not not like a toothpaste. Very good. See, you're getting much better now. Stop. Okay. Let's stop and let's readjust our piping bag. See, and we're gonna push from the top and twist, and then you're gonna squeeze here first, and then go to the bottom. Okay. You're gonna mix it, okay? And then you're gonna make 24 plus. Oh! Try to keep as much of it in the bowl as possible. Uh, this is so good. It is so good. Mm -hmm. mm, mm. Cut. Commercial break, commercial break. We gotta go wash our hands. I just have popcorn in my face. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Oh, that's it for now. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to. Stay safe and have fun! Hey, you like how I dressed up for this? <laughs> well, that wraps up this adventure for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Special thanks to our librarians, Rec and Crew, and special guests who joined us on this adventure. If you try any of these projects, make sure to share and tag us on Instagram at Daily City Rec so we can see all your goodies. Now, do us a favor. If you have not already subscribed, please make sure to do so. Then like, bing, bing and share the video with all your friends and family. 
That's it for now. Until next time, make sure to stay safe and have fun!